Making a pilgrimage has been a common theme for Christians throughout the history of the church. Christians would embark on physical journey towards specific locations as they pursued transformation, holiness, and inspiration. However, not every monastery in the medieval era had something to attract pilgrims. So how did some monks in Conques, France deal with this dilemma? Well, they devised a plan to steal some from a neighboring monastery. In the year 819, a monastery was founded in Conques, France. It was placed along a route common for pilgrims to travel. However, the monastery itself did not have a lot to offer. Within a few decades, the monks decided they needed to do something to attract pilgrims. Not far away from their location in Conques was a monastery in Agen. This particular monastery in Agen housed the relics of St. Foy, also known as St. Faith. St. Foy was an early Christian who was martyred at a young age. She was executed by Romans in the 3rd century for refusing to make pagan sacrifices. Part of her remains became venerated relics in the church and had the reputation of healing. The monks of Conques saw the relics of St. Foy and they saw that they were good. So they set in motion a long-term theft which would ultimately place these relics of St. Foy in their care. One of the monks from Conques was sent to join the monks in Agen. Over the course of years, the monk would rise through the ranks, getting ever closer to the relics. After about 15 years, the monk had reached a position where he had access to the relics. He immediately seized them when given the chance. Without hesitation, he returned to the monastery in Conk, giving over the relics of St. Foy to be housed there. Here was 866 when the relics arrived, and they are still there to this day, and one can find them at the Abbey Church of St. Foy. While the relics were clearly stolen, the monks have never denied their history. They have been open about the plot to obtain the relics in order to preserve the relics' authenticity. If the relics were to mysteriously appear, then there would be suspicion that they were fakes. However, being honest about the theft allows the relics to have a traceable history with verifiable credentials.